Welcome back everyone. Here I have other Samsung TV and it's a little bit different there. It's flickering on the little bit black on the right hand side. What in the world's going on? Well, this is a problem with your backlight. It's usually is your backlight problem with this type of TV. This is a clipless TV. So I'm just using my flathead screwdriver and going around the outside. There's this kind of little uh, wire there. So you can just kind of pry it, push it and then pry up and then it comes off. And then you can just use some marker to make it to stick it in there so that it doesn't uh, fall back into place and there we go we got the back case off I kind of like the TVs with the screws but you know they're trying to save parts these days so what to fix the TV you're gonna have to remove the back speakers and also a little cable that goes to the the LED display there so this is the what it looks like inside you have your main board this does all the processing of your TV your HDMI, HDMI imports and stuff like that and then this is your power supply board um, now you can see sometimes you have a main board issue you can actually detach the little cable that goes from your main board to your power supply and this would uh, like if you're having like a totally black TV if you disconnect that and your TV works um, that because this is connected right to your backlight right there so you can I, kind of isolate if the backlight comes on then it's probably your main board and uh, by disconnecting that cable the lights will turn on without the main board connected well anyways uh, now we have to remove this little bracket here because there's these little circuitries underneath it that connects to the LCD panel and to do this again you you need some tools there. You need a suction cup and things like that. So um, I'm just going around the outside to remove the bezel and then just prying it. There's this little tab that you just pry up and then, you you know, just take your time. There's no rush there. And I have it on a little table, but you could do this on your kitchen floor, on a mat, you know, on a carpet, just somewhere so where it's uh, uh, nice and clean and, and uh, it's good there. So after I got that metal bracket, I'm putting that circuitry, taping off electrical tape onto the LCD panel. And then I'll be using some suction cups that I got from Canadian Tire. And then you can just uh, take it off there. Uh, it's good, suction cups are a must. Like try to, don't use your hands there. You'll break the screen. There's some filter papers. Just use an electrical tape. Just tape the filter papers and then we can remove that. And then underneath, these, this is an older type TV. I actually kind of like this older type. It uses, um, what do you call it, a plexiglass in there. And then it, that distributes the light. And I, I think the colors just look a lot better. And the light shines there. So there's other uh, couple plastic tabs that you have to remove. And then you can remove this um, plexiglass as well. And then underneath the plexiglass is the final little uh, reflective uh, white piece of paper. And... The normal uh, TVs, they have the LEDs at the very back and it shoots right into your eyes. But this one uses a reflective uh, property where the LEDs are at the bottom and then they reflect up through the plexiglass into your eye. So um, I'm just using my LED tester to test the LEDs and they seem to be looking okay, but then uh, there's a bad one right there. So that's why it was flickering because it would go on and off. And so I'm going to be fixing this. I'm going to be cutting off with the little snippet tool. I just break off the old LED and you can see the pads. There's a big pad and a small pad. The big pad is negative and the small pad is positive. And I have ordered some replacement LEDs online. And these ones are six volts. So using the LED tester is a good uh, choice too because then you can test the old LEDs and verify what voltage it used. And mine were six voltage. Um, I'm using some liquid solder to put on the pads there and because you can't really get a soldering iron under it very easily but it is possible but you can kind of tack it on but using a heat gun and because these are surface mount components you know three millimeters by three millimeters kind of small but it can be done no problem I put it on and then you just heat it up you know 330 degrees for about 20 seconds should do it and then that will make a good solid connection. And then we can use our LED tester to verify that everything's good. And they have the little pads that will, and it even labels plus and minus there. You can see the more, they're all coming on nicely there. So it should be good there. So I just plugged it back in and the lights turned on. So I left it for a while and verified that it's not flashing. It's looking good, all the lights consistent. 
Now, to stop this from happening, this before this has happened because the light, the backlight was set up to 49. So you don't want to run your car at 100% all the time. Otherwise, your car will break. That's the same with your TV. So the backlights blow. So to make sure your LEDs last a lot longer because there, there are still older LEDs in there. You want it to last longer. I just put it down to 30. It should last a lot longer and then you guys can go back to watching TV. See you in the next video.